Gucci hot class, skinny in a wine glass, closet full of shoes and design bags. She got a name, but everybody call her fine ass. That fine ass. You gotta see a top class. Born in the corn, she a mixed bridge. Hips on parentheses. And she drives thick, it's a six feet. Yellow on the inside, switch cheese. What's up, y'all? It's a girl, Skill Sophia. I'm back with another video. Ignore the way I'm talking. I just recently got my tongue pierced. So, I'm going to try my best to do this voiceover for you guys. But I'm just going to show you how I made the, a, this couple's intro. The first thing I did was go to Safari and just look for a background. And I didn't want an AM smoky themed background for this intro so this is the background that i decided to use so then i just saved the background to my phone after saving the background to my phone i then went into the fontos app i clicked the camera below and then i clicked on plain image clicked on the um white image and clicked the numbers above it and then the first column i put um two five six eight and then in the second column i put one four four zero after that i then clicked in the right corner the square and clicked use and then clicked the three lines in the left corner and then clicked um photo album add image or whatever and then you know added my image to the white screen and then tapped on the white screen, clicked size, and then just stretch the size until the background covers the entire screen before clicking the square in the bottom right corner and then saving it into my phone. After leaving the Fonto app, we're now going to go into the Pixar app, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go into the Pixar app. And this is the app that I use to delete the background of my um, images the fastest way. Um, or you can either use the Eraser app, but I prefer this app. I use both apps depending on what type of picture it is. HD pictures work better with Pixar app. So when you get into the app, you're going to just click the plus sign at the bottom and then you're going to, um, you know, click on the picture that you want to delete the background of. But of course, I selected this couple's image because this is a couple's intro. And then at the bottom, you're just going to go to cut out. And then when you click cut out, you're going to click person. And it's going to color the person red. If it doesn't color the entire person red, you can then go in and color it red yourself. Which is what you see me doing right here. Because it sometimes doesn't, you know, calculate the entire person. After that is completed, you're then just going to click save in the corner. And click next, then click save to your album. You know, just save, you click done. Next, we're going to go into the video leap app. Is, and then you're going to click on the plus sign at the bottom. You're going to then click on the background you just made, and then you're going to just stretch it out to however long you want your um, intro to be. So I just stretch it out to like, I don't know, like 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Probably going to straight. I'm either going to speed it up or slow it down. So I just, I don't know. So next, I then clicked on Mixer and added the photo that I wanted to add. And then click Mixer again and add a photo again. If you don't, if you have not paid for this app, you're kind of probably gonna be able only be able to add two mixtures per um, per thing. So all you have to do, if you have to do that, is add your two mixtures, save it, and then do it again and keep on doing it. And just keep on saving it every time you add two mixtures. If you haven't paid for this app, since I paid for this app, I can put as many mixtures as I want on top of the background. So all you see me doing is just tapping on them and then sizing them, and then at the bottom. You can add your animations, which I always, if you've already subscribed to me, you already know that I don't talk during this part because this is a self-explanatory part. You just click animations and you can click any animation you want and just do it however you want to do it. So I'm just going to go speed it up and yeah. Okay guys, so I accidentally did something wrong because I decided to change my mind and add smoke in there and i want the smoke to be behind the words so i um decided to delete the text and just keep the um photos with the animations in and then go into youtube and type in green screen smoke effect and then i um screen recorded the all design creative green screen 
video, the one that you just saw me touch a little bit, I screen recorded that one. And then um, after I screen recorded that one, I'm so sorry for the way I'm talking, guys. Please bear with me. After I screen recorded that one, I went into photos and then I went into, um, I clicked on the photo and then I clicked edit and then I clicked on the square that's next to the done. At the bottom, I clicked on the square next to done and then I just moved the cursor so I can, you know, delete all the Instagrams. I mean, not the Instagram, I'll delete all the YouTube stuff at the bottom. I make sure to not get the red line at the bottom because I don't want that in my YouTube intro, you know. You have to be very precise with the iMovie app. Click on the plus, click on movie, then click on um, the movie that you want to do, which is going to be, of course, the one I just say from Video Leap. Then click on the plus line again. Click on moments video, whichever one you want to click on. Recently added, click on video, whichever one. Click on the green screen. Click on the three um, circles and then click green size blue screen. And then this is what it's going to look like. After I look at the preview of what it's going to look like and I see if this is how I want it to look or not, I'm just going to then click on done. And I'm going to um, save it. After saving it, I'm then going to go back into the Video Leap app. I'm then going to start a new project and then select the video I saved from iMovie. After selecting the video I saved from iMovie, we're going to click text at the bottom. Well, I'm going to move the cursor to where I want it to be. And then um, click text because I want to move the cursor to where I want the text to start. And then click text, then double tap to edit like it says. And then begin to type your text. And which of course I'm going to type their um YouTube name. Next, I'm going to after I'm completely done with the text, I'm just going to move the box around to wherever I want the text to be, which I prefer to for the text to be um at the bottom of the screen and then just you know add my animation so it can come when I want it to come and leave when I want it to leave. Well, if you're a subscriber already, you know that I normally don't talk around this part and I just speed it up. So you can really see what I'm doing at the bottom. I'm just, you know, clicking with the animation I want it to be at. And yeah, so I'm just going to speed this up and I'm going to, um, you know, let you all see what I do because this is a freestyle. Next, we're going to go to the YouTube app because I want to add Falling Roses on top of their stuff. So we're going to go to the YouTube app. I'm going to search for green screen rose petals falling and then I'm going to um screen record I'm trying to find which one screen record the crazy editors one that's the one that I screen recorded and then you know I once again did the same thing in photos After saving what I did in photos, I then go to the um, iMovie app, click plus, click movies, select the um, video that I created in video, leave, click the plus sign, click videos, click on the recently added, click on the roses, click the three circles, and then click green slash blue screen, and then boom, this is what it looks like. So after I make sure it's at my liking of what I want it to look like, I then click done and then I save it. Um, the video I screen recorded had music on it. So you have to make sure that the volume is turned down on that video so that it doesn't disturb your intro. After doing the beginning of the intro, I'm now going to do the social media part of the intro by going to my Safari, looking for iPhone transparent. So you're going to look for an iPhone with a transparent background like this, and you're going to save it to your phone. I forgot to screen record the part of when I put the phone inside 
I put the photo inside the phone, but if you want to know how to do that, you can click a link in the below in my description to see my previous intros where I show how I add the phone and put the video or put the photo inside the phone. Next, I'm just going to go to Safari and I'm going to look up Instagram logo and look for a logo with no background. But if I can't find a logo with no background, I do save it and go into my eraser app where i um click on the photo thing icon in the left corner click on my um image click on erase click on either target area or target color and delete it this time i clicked on target area and just select all the target areas that i wanted to do if i would have clicked on target color it would just delete all of the white which is so much quicker and then you'll just save into your phone after saving the um image into your phone but then going to go into the video leap app where i will select the video that i just created in q cut which i forgot to screen record once again you can click the link in the description box to see how i added that photo into the phone using my other youtube videos to refer back to right here you all you see is me click mixer and i added that photo i added the um instagram logo all i did was click mixer I add it and I deleted the background of that photo by using the Pixar app like I did previously. Like I always tell y'all everything is a repeat. The way I added that Instagram one thing up there is all I did was click on sticker and add it and there you go. Next I'm just going to slide the Instagram logo to how I want it to be before adding the Instagram name of my customer. I'm just going to add their Instagram name and add animations. To the instagram name and add animations to this instagram logo as well and like i told y'all this is always a freestyle part when it comes to animations and adding text and stuff like that because we all add text differently and i'm just showing y'all the basics of how to make a youtube intro um for your text they offer different fonts at the bottom you can change the color you can change the stroke the stroke is the outlining of your text like i said this is all freestyle part and whatnot so yes i'm not gonna talk right here you just you know do what you want to do next i'm gonna make sure that i stretch my text all the way to the end and stretch my instagram logo all the way to the end so that it doesn't end up disappearing in the middle of my intro and so that when i stretch it all the way to the end just stretch it to where i want it to be at and whatnot next after i do this we're going to go into the um video leap app once again and i have already created their entire social media names and stuff like that i did the social media the same that it was his and hers so i did the social media for his the same that i did for hers so i didn't screen record when i did his but i did everything the same so next we're going to go into the video leap app and we're going to go into the video leap app and we're going to select the um video where i added smoke to it already i added the smoke the same way i added the smoke at the beginning i just took that black screen went to iMovie and then added the smoke on top of it um next i'm going to just add um i'm going to move the cursor to where i want it to be and then go ahead and add text this is the ending of the youtube intro and all i'm doing is just adding their youtube name to be typed out at the end I'm going to put roses on here and then I'm going to add the subscribe button. So, as you can see right here, I'm just going to type in their Instagram name and then add the animation. I'm going to add my animations, add my stroke, and then I'm going to just, you know, size the text where I want it to be, move it to how I want. And after I do this, I'm going to then save this video. Okay, finally, after saving the video from Video Leap, we're going to go into iMovie, click on the plus, and then put the video that we just saved from Video Leap in. Now, we're going to go ahead and add the green screen subscribe button, which you can screen record. Well, actually, we're going to add the roses first and then the subscribe button. So, just click the plus, go to the roses, click the three dots, then click green slash blue screen the same way that we did it at the beginning. After you do that, you're going to save it. You can only add one green screen per video, so I'm going to 
go ahead and save this video and once this video saves we're gonna go back to projects click the plus sign again click movie then add the video that we just saved and after you add the video that you just saved, just go back to the beginning, click the plus, and then you're going to go ahead and look for the green screen subscribe button video. You should have already screen recorded that in your phone. I have these videos, you know, already in my phone because I, you know, make YouTube intros. So this video is already in my phone. I don't have to screen record it and do all the stuff that we did at the beginning. So you're just going to click three, three dots and click green screen, blue screen. Um, this is what the ending of their YouTube intro is going to look like. So after I see how it looks, I then just save the image to my, I mean, save the, save the video to my phone. And after I save the video to my phone, I then just go to the video leap app. And once I, you know, enter the video leap app, I then just put all of the clips together like this. So what I'm doing here is just, you know, positioning the clips so that they can be in order. You know, put this part, put their, um, you know... Put the slide with their YouTube intro, their YouTube name at the beginning. Put their social medias in the middle and then put the slide with the subscribe button at the end. And then I just select the um, the places where you can put transitions. You're just going to, you know, click right there and then they're going to give you the opportunity to add transitions. And you can add transitions, whatever transitions you want, reminding you that these are in app purchases so the transitions that you see me use they might not be on your video leap because i did purchase this app and you know not all transitions are available if you have not purchased the app but all you see me doing right now is just playing with all the transitions so i find the transition that suits my liking and then after i do that after i add all the transitions to the um YouTube intro i then save it and then add music which i did not show y'all how i added music on here due to copyright reasons but i do have previous videos in the description box that shows you how to add music because those videos were already pre-copyrighted there are previous videos on my youtube page well i will leave the description in the box if you would like to add music but this is what it looks like when you're done